We want to talk today about the year 1970 and Don Yanko. Don Yanko, as everybody probably knows, was both a race car driver and a custom car builder. Don Yanko, in a lot of ways, was like Carroll Shelby growing up in the 1950s and 60s, being a race car driver and eventually got into, quote, modifying high performance Chevrolets. He ended up producing a total of 175 Yanko Novas. By the time he started producing the Yanko Novas, General Motors was, quote, more aggressive in its performance campaign and was offering, of course, a lot larger engines with higher horsepowers as a standard factory order, which in some ways was cutting into Don Yanko's business. In 1970, Don Yanko sold only Yanko Novas, a total of 175, as I had stated, of which were ordered in two batches. He placed one initial order for 125 units and then a follow-up order for 50 units. Most people don't realize, but of the 175 units, they were actually all built over only a three-week time period by General Motors. The five basic colors that you could choose were Cortez Silver, Forest Green, Fathom Blue that you have here currently, Cranberry Red, and Gobi Beige. Now the last three colors we actually have here at the American Muscle Car Museum. That being said, in the second order batch of 50 vehicles, you could get three additional colors. And those three additional colors were known as springtime colors for Chevrolet. Those were citrus green, hugger orange, and kind of a unique color, sunflower yellow. Out of the 175 vehicles produced, 122 of them came with the M21 four-speed Hurst shifter. And the remaining, of course, were the M20 automatic transmission vehicles. One thing that actually hurt sales significantly in 1970 is that Don Yanko never certified the cars for NHRA stock racing classification. If you showed up to the drag strip in one of these in 1970, you were actually put into the modified performance class, which significantly hurt their, quote, drag racing capabilities. The engine that exists in these vehicles is actually a 350 cubic inch, 360 horsepower solid lifter V8. The identical engine also existed in the new LT1 Corvette in 1970, which was rated at 350 cubic inches with 370 horsepower. Here at the American Muscle Car Museum, we have a total of 27 Yankos in total. We have one of every make and model that Don Yanko ever produced. If you enjoy looking at this vehicle here, we ask that you check us out more at theamericanmusclecarmuseum.com or follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Again, I want to wish you a great day. The sun's coming out here in Florida and it's going to be another beautiful day in the Sunshine State. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Thank you.